Hey guys, it's Tika and welcome back to the channel. Today we're making bunny butt cupcakes. And if you're interested in more small batch recipes like the one you see here, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. I'm doing a row row recipe today and I am making her bunny bum cake balls. Now I suck at cake pop so I figured this might be a little easier. She's even got a template in the back of the book guys. So let's go ahead and get started. For this recipe, you're going to need some white and some pink chocolate melts, a few mini marshmallows, you can use cupcakes but you don't have to, and some buttercream. So the first thing that you want to do is start by taking some cupcakes and crumpling them up into a large bowl, and I'm using about four. And then I'm also using some chocolate buttercream that I colored green and I'm just gonna mix this all together. Now, like I said, I am not good at cake pops and clearly I need a little bit more practice with this because for some reason, I just felt like these definitely needed some more buttercream. Like, I don't know. And trust me, this was like too much buttercream. And then I also felt like this was the right texture. I don't know why I felt that either. And following the recipe, I'm just gonna roll these up into little balls and place them onto my parchment lined baking sheet. And this is going into the freezer for about 15 minutes. Now while my cake balls are in the freezer, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on these little bunny tails. Now for the bunny tails, you're supposed to take a little mini marshmallow and break it in half and roll it into a little ball and then roll it around in some of these little sprinkles. Now for me, the sprinkle didn't stay on the little marshmallow, but I thought it was cute either way. So I'm going to go ahead and get my chocolate all prepared here so it'll be nice and ready for the next step. And the next step of this treat is to take that little template that was in the back of the book and I just traced it onto some parchment and you're going to use a number two piping tip and you're just going to outline the little bunny feet so that they can be used for this treat. Now, y'all, I don't know why this was so hard, but this was like really difficult for me and it took forever. Like, I don't know how Roro did it, but her cake balls were beautiful. I, I don't know, like this was not a look for me. Clearly I'm struggling. Okay, so before I pop those in the freezer, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of my little cake balls and I'm gonna get them prepared so I can put this all in the freezer at the same time. So I'm just gonna start dipping all of these into some white chocolate, which also proved to be a little bit challenging. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm using a fork, but I saw her using one in the book, so I just figured, use a fork. But I had so many cake crumbs left over in my chocolate, like, it was ridiculous. My bunny bodies stopped looking like bunny bodies and started looking more like chocolate dipped Oreos or something as this went on. And as you can see, I'm, I'm still struggling y'all. Like I've been struggling this whole time. Okay, so here are my <laughs> less than stellar cake balls and my little bunny feet. And now I am taking like another piping tip. I think I'm using like a number one and I am just filling in the rest of the little portions on the bunny feet. And then I'm gonna pop this all into the freezer. And once again, yes, this was difficult and it took me a long time, like seriously. And now that everything is prepared, let's go ahead and start this treat. So I am just taking some of this green chocolate buttercream and I'm putting it on my cupcake as the grass. And then I'm just gonna pop on a little bunny body. And from there, you're supposed to take a little bit of that melted chocolate so you can attach the feet. And I'm just gonna place these on right here. And then another little bit of chocolate is gonna go on and I'm gonna attach the little bunny's tail. And lastly, I am just using a small grass tip, 
with some more of that green buttercream and I'm just filling in some spaces around my bunny to make it look like it's laying in grass. And as a final touch, I'm just gonna add a flower. And we are all done. This treat was so difficult for me, but it's so cute, guys, look. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.